Welcome to The Prosperity Practice. The Prosperity Practice. Our personal take on what it takes. Push, challenge, light the fire. Do not chase prosperity. Rather, be prosperous. Prosperous. Welcome to The Prosperity Practice with your host, Brandon Hanley. Looks like we made it. Let the Ready, Ready to, to go. go. What is going on, Prosperity Practitioner? Brandon Hanley here, the voice of generation. And I am, it's been a minute, right? Sorry guys, here I am. Life has been, life has been full of abundance, right? Life has been full of prosperity. Life has had its challenges and through the challenges that life offers, through the, through all that life has to offer, we have to go ahead and make a decision. You need to make a decision whether or not what life is offering for you is for your benefit or not. That's a choice. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful choice. It's an opportunity that you get to take a look at life and say, this is for my benefit or this is detrimental, right? Um, this is for my benefit. Uh, this this is trying to teach me something. This is all that I need it to be. That's you know, the conversation that you have with yourself when, when a challenge presents itself, when any situation presents itself. So when I say that, uh, I can tell you certainly that I have been blessed uh, with with uh, quite an abundance of of things to to learn, to go through, to grow and develop, and and that continues to this day. And uh, you know, that's that's kind of what I've been up to the past past um, couple months here, actually, where where I've gone to real estate school. I've gone uh, to get my uh, real estate license and and change careers and go through a, a totally totally uh, um, different different aspects of my life so you know why I say that is because listen wherever you are whatever it is you're going through you a you don't have to be there at one you know one one thing is to recognize you don't need to be there you're not like Jim Rohn says you're not a tree you can move right um, and sometimes when things happen to us, that is that's the blessing. That's the that's the thing that if this doesn't happen to you, and at that time it doesn't seem so great, um, then the next thing that that appears is is what you've been asking for. And I can tell you uh, in full, hundred percent honesty, that is exactly what just happened in my life. And and you can't script it that way. And you can right. You you can you can go out. You can script it that way. And you can work really hard to get to certain places and, and do certain things on purpose. But sometimes there's too much fear in the way. And I honestly, uh, you know, had a, had an awesome job. Had a great job, and I was, I was working with a great company and doing and doing some doing some things. I wasn't in love with them, but I was always looking for the the light in that moment. I was looking for the you know how can I expand on this? How can I breathe life into it? Uh, how can I look at this is greater than uh, just my job, right? And I think that that's that's part of the whole process too, uh, on, on the pathway to prosperity and abundance. Um, so as it turned out, my my job was my job was eliminated. My job uh, was eliminated, and and um, it gave me the opportunity to go do something that I always wanted to do. It gave me, you know, took away this this quote unquote security blanket, right? This this place that I, you know, uh, so needed for my life to happen, and once that was gone, I was like, all right, well, now what? And I, I, I you know, if, if you've been paying attention, if you've been hanging out, you, you guys know that I was just recently uh, at a, you know, it was a wealth expo, but the, the whole idea of it was real estate, and gosh, I was like, I was, I was so excited about it, and I was like, really a lot of energy involved with with it and the ideas and the thoughts and and um, that is, is where I went and that's what opened up it's what I wanted it's what I you know it's what I put into it's what I put into my desires I said, you know this would be great and everything just kind of opened up the opportunities were there 
Um, and that's where I'm at right now. And the reason I, again, the reason I share that is because, you know, listen, when one door shuts, thousands open. We just have to, you know, we have to understand. You have to understand that you are going to get what you ask for. You are going to get what you repeatedly ask for. And if you ask for, and you know, and even in that, like uh, this is this is the quote today, is God reveals to humanity through his word. The shortest route to success, prosperity, and well-being. And you know, what does that mean to me when we look at that? Just like I just said, you get what you ask for, you get what you uh, you get what you continuously talk to yourself about. And tell yourself as possible. And say to yourself that you actually want. Say to yourself that you actually want. And this this is uh, something that you know I learned through Bob Proctor, who's been in this business for 60 years, been in the personal development space for over 60 years. The guy's still going strong. Um, but he often talks about we, we often go for the things that we know that we can do or we think that we know we can do. And that is exactly what I had been doing in, in the role that I was at. But in the back of my mind, there, were, there was there was kind of like this lingering doubt and there was kind of like this, um, it's kind of like if you watch your favorite sitcom over and over again, it was, it was like that. Um, you know, I couldn't leave uh, a stage. I couldn't, uh, you know, this is my, this, these were my limiting beliefs. This was my setup. And I was like, I just didn't feel comfortable a hundred percent. And so I just kept envisioning, you know, how, how it wouldn't work out simply because the script that I had written for myself in that space didn't make sense, you know, it didn't, it didn't, I couldn't get it to make sense for me, and that's what kind of transpired, um, it never really, never really kind of came to full fruition, but in order to become who I want to be, while I'm, I'm sure it wasn't 100% necessary to remove myself from that sitcom, that show, and, and create another stage, create another setting, be around new people, uh, who, who, um, you know, who are about that life. Uh, the, the company that I've joined is Keller Williams and they're about the personal growth. They're about the, uh, growth, you know, personal growth, uh, professional growth through, uh, your personal growth. And you know, it's very exciting. And, and as I, as I was reading the, um, they call it the red book, uh, but it's called the millionaire real estate agent. You know, the first half of that book, was like any uh, other uh, personal growth book, and I was like, "This is this is this is for me. This is my space." And you know, I know that anyone in sales uh, or anyone in any business really can go bring value to people by being themselves, by being authentic. You know, I'm already very excited about about the space that I'm in because uh, you're, uh, what are you doing here, ma'am? You're gonna need to go ahead. Come on, make that turn. Yep. Are you drunk? Have a great morning. <laughs> oh man! But you know, this is the script I'm writing for myself, right? And 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 right now, it's it's ultra powerful, right? And again, God reveals to humanity through His Word. That's your word, you know, uh, and His Word, you know. Uh, but I, I always feel like you know you're really just kind of a receiver of, you know, God, as it were, the universe, you're really just, uh, kind of magnifying what you're willing to receive, uh, and, and to a certain level, and when he says his word, your word, right, what is your word that you speak, that's the shortest route, uh, to success, prosperity, and well-being, uh, I'll share another, uh, thing with you, and I, I don't know where this phrase comes from, well, I'm trying to think if I actually finished up the Bob Proctor part, but the, 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 you know, I'm going to roll back there for a second. The you know, what do you actually want? If you were to sit down today and just said it out loud or wrote it on a piece of paper, then this next part is important. Then you speak it into existence through your words, through your written words, through the words that are coming through your body. And they're being said with the motion and power and vision and clarity. It's something you know. 
that you want explicitly for yourself. There is great power in that. There's great power in that because you don't you don't have to be shy. You don't have to be, be careful with yourself to, to think about what is possible for you. Now, listen, there's often times when when you think you know you think you know based off of your very limited and finite experience about what's possible for you. And that's why you know I'm getting involved in a new space and I'm being around people who have done you know things what far beyond what I've ever done. And I'm, I'm getting exposed. Uh, you know, I'm going to learn that script. What's the script where you know we come in here and and this is the background. You don't have to have this this other script, right? You don't have to have. Uh, you don't have to. I mean, listen, guys. I'm, I'm going to use like just kind of random actors out there. I mean, many people like remember Woody Harrelson, right? Woody Harrelson came from Cheers and and became like an action star. Uh, and you've got like other people, Liam Neeson as an action star, you know, uh, these people who in our everyday lives, you wouldn't imagine them to accept and be these roles when you initially meet them, but eventually you know, they transform and they, and they, they go beyond what you had seen them perform or be before. And that's just how you are. What is the next script for you? What is the next setting for you? Stage left, exit right, whatever. What, what are you preparing for yourself and what does your script look like? God reveals humanity through his word. The shortest route to success, prosperity, and well-being. What is your word? What is the word that he's speaking through you? Uh, what are you allowing yourself to say? What are you saying to yourself? What do you need to say to yourself so that you can become the person that you need to become? What setting do you need to be in? Who do you need to surround yourself with? Those are all the important, you know, just kind of ideas and questions and thoughts that this quote, I think, takes you to and through. And, you know, I'm just sharing some of my experiences with you because that's that's the growth. That's the, that's the joy. That's the beauty of it all. And that's the excitement of it all. Uh, you know, you don't have to know exactly how the things are going to happen. But the words that you say to yourself and the way that you speak to yourself, the words that you say out loud or how you kind of speak it into existence. And I say that, that's a, uh, you know, that's a quote coming from the, you know, the car dealer, uh, you know, or earlier, you know, um, I bought another car this year. And, and he goes, man, my mom's always saying, you know, speak it into existence. So I'm, I just, I just encourage you to speak it into existence. Start small. Start, start small. Start, start where in a, in a space that you, be, you know, think is believable. Because the important thing is you've got to believe it. You need to believe it. You need to believe it because you, you already believe the words that you're saying now. Add some words in there that encourage you to become who you think you need to become, uh, to be where you need to be, and, and take that first step. And that first step is is having the courage. To say those words out loud, to write them down, the courage to dream, the courage to believe in yourself. Guys, I know that if I can do it, you can do it, countless others have done it, and, and there's people out there who are in places that they shouldn't be. You know, in theory, there's people out there in places that they shouldn't be simply because they believed in themselves. That's it, guys. Thanks for listening today. And remember, reach out to us on Facebook or through our webpage.
The Prosperity Practice. The Prosperity Practice. Have something to say directly? Hit us up, Brandon at Prosperity-Practice.com. Prosperity is a result of action. Take action. That's it. I'm out of here.